It's a peace church in Biloxi. Your national order for this evening. For this prayer vigil. For Officer Robert McKeithen of the Biloxi Police Department. May 7th, 2019. Our welcome will be by Reverend Eric Dickett, pastor of First Missionary Baptist Church, Biloxi. Our invocation will be by Reverend Luther Fairley, pastor of Main Street Missionary Baptist Church, Biloxi. Our occasion will be given by Reverend Kenneth E. Hollins, pastor of New Bethel Missionary Baptist Church, Biloxi. We'll have a song from Reverend James Palmer, pastor of St. John AME Church, Biloxi. We'll have a reflection from Chaplain Robert Burris of the Biloxi Police Department. And then we'll have prayers for the Biloxi Police Department given by Reverend Steve Mooneyham, Executive Director of the Gulf Coast Baptist Association. Prayers for the family by Pastor Henry Dugale, Pastor Oasis of Faith, Church of God in Christ, Biloxi. Prayers for the community given by Reverend Smokey Gibson, Pastor of First Baptist Church, Biloxi. And then encouraging words, Reverend D.L. Taylor, Pastor of Prince of Peace Church, Biloxi. To you all that are in the viewing area of this platform, we want to pause just for a moment before we continue our vigil to thank God for this family for being here with us in their hour of pain and sorrow. On behalf of the Biloxi Ecumenical Clergy Leadership Council, we want to thank each and every one of you for coming out here on this afternoon, evening, shall I say, to be a witness and to show solidarity for one of our officers, Robert McKeith, who has given his life that we yet still may live. We thank this family for lending your loved one to us, who serve with dignity and who serve with readiness of heart. To whomever he came in contact with, he treated them with ultimate respect. We pause and we view the patrol car that is situated here on this site, recognizing that this was the very car in which he used the blue lights and the sirens to rush to high pursuit of criminal activities, to help citizens that were stranded or to help special need children. The countless times he wore his uniform, shield, he displayed the duty of an officer with tremendous dignity and integrity while facing the threat of imminent danger. To this family and to all of you, Chief Miller and the law enforcement agency, not only here in Biloxi, but throughout the Mississippi Gulf Coast state and others who have been concerned since the travesty in the history of our city. We are reminded that we are in pain right now. But just a few feet away from us is the lighthouse. And the lighthouse has a beacon within it, which signify that we will, in the midst of pain and in the midst of being wounded, we will heal together. Reverend Lee, let us all go to God in prayer. All wise, eternal, everlasting God, who art the creator and the maker of both heavens and of earth. It is again, dear Master, that I come along with this gathering here in the great city of Biloxi. Father God, on Porter Avenue, and Lord, you already knew 
through the providential orders of Almighty God. You knew this day, Father, that we would all be gathered here. And Father, we come to invoke blessings upon the beloved community. And Father, we pray for peace to abide and that justice would roll down with equality. And Father, that we would all have a sense of understanding in our indifferences. And Master, that we would realize that there's a reality in serving a true and a living God. And Father, help us to realize, oh Lord, that we all are just one step away from death. But death is not the end because one day we all have to stand before an almighty and all wise God. And we all got to give an account of all of our stewardship and our actions, activity, and our community work. But most of all, Lord, we pray. That you would bless, oh God, these families that is involved here. And Father God, we pray that you would lead and guide our justice system. Father God, that they would take matters, oh Lord God. And Father, realize that there's a, a concern for equality. And there's a concern for justice. Father, that Biloxi would, would continue to remain to be that great city that you have designed her to be. And most of all, Lord, we pray that you would dry up bitter tears from all of our eyes. Weeping endures for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And then, Master, one day we won't be able to pray the prayer of faith. One day we won't be able, Lord, to sing the song of Zion. One day we won't be able, Lord, to enter into the house of prayer in our synagogue. And, oh, Lord God, when that time comes, give us all the rest in place in your kingdom. We'll be able to serve you throughout ceaseless ages. And we ask these and other blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus, our Christ, let us all say amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Our purpose for being here today is to demonstrate our love through prayer. We are here to pray for the family of our fallen brother, Officer McKeithen, who selflessly gave his life in the line of duty while serving us. We are here to pray. We are here to pray for the entirety of the Biloxi Police Department and their families that the Lord will give them strength to endure this terrible hurt that has been inflicted upon all of us. We're here to pray. We're here to pray for the city of Biloxi and all of her citizens who have been so devastated by this terrible, horrific crime. We're here to pray. We're here to pray even for the troubled young man who has been arrested for this heinous and despicable act of violence. We are here to pray because we believe the God we serve will hear us and he will answer us when we pray and he'll come to our rescue. We are here to pray. How great thou art, O oh Lord, my God, when I have awesome wonder, consider all the world thy hands have made. I see the stars, and I hear a rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe display. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great 
thou art Then sings my soul, my Savior God To thee, how great thou art and family and guests we thank you for being here God told us that blessed is the peacemakers for they will be called sons of God All right. we have a number of sons of God among us right now and Robert is with him as we speak it also tells us in 2 Corinthians in the first chapter that there will be times that we go through trials and tribulations but for that very reason, later on, we will be able to render aid to those that are going through trials of the same nature. We will be able to render aid, render aid to them. We can't begin to thank this city enough. All the law enforcement have come down. All the civilians that have blessed this department in the way you have. You've come to our aid. We thank you. And I ask God to bless each and every one of you. We, as we know, it may be hot and the sun's out, but the real sun is also out Come and he is shining yeah. right now. He is blessed. Thank you, dear God, for the mercy you've shown us. And I pray peace on each and every one of you out here today. We will resume and continue to protect our community in whatever way necessary. Beautiful. And we thank our community for working with us in every way possible. Thank you and God bless you. If you would join me in moments of prayer for our Biloxi Police Department. Our Father, we assemble today with Hearts weighed with sadness, mourning the senseless attack upon our community, resulting in the death of a dedicated servant, a respected officer of the law, a servant of this community. Father, these are treacherous days when lawlessness rears its head to disrupt and disrespect the peace in our cities, to disrespect the rule of law and those who uphold it. We pray for the men and women who stand around us, who proudly wear the badge with honor and integrity, who put themselves in harm's way to protect this community and to preserve its peace. Father, I pray for these men and women who at any moment are called to put themselves in situations where harm may come upon them, yet they do so selflessly and bravely. I pray for this department as a whole as they grieve and mourn a fallen brother. Lord, I pray your hand of grace and peace be on them this hour. May your Holy Spirit give strength to them and uphold them. The psalmist repeatedly prays for himself. And this I pray for our brothers in blue. Preserve them from evil men. Lord, as they wear a shield on their chest, I pray that You be a shield and protector about them. The Apostle Paul reminds us that government is established by God and as such, to resist is to resist God. He then poses a question in Romans 13. Would you want to have no fear of authority? Then do what is good. Father, I pray for these men and women, for those who stand on that thin blue line between law and lawlessness, I pray that you will be the God that will be the healer of their wounds, the comforter of their hearts, and the lifter of their heads. 
In the precious, powerful, sweet name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Would you bow your heads with me, please? Lord, I pray for families in this city and the surrounding communities. Father, especially for the family of Officer McKee, his wife, his children, his relatives, all who are grieving his loss. Lord, we are praying for families of every Biloxi police officer and the families of police officers in our surrounding communities. I pray for their courage, their strength, and their peace while their loved ones may be in our community protecting our families. Lord, help them. And bless them. Father, we also pray for this young man who has been accused of committing this horrendous act of taking another human being's life. Lord, help him and his family. Families are also grieving. His family is also grieving over this terrible, terrible act of evil. I pray for their strength. And finally, Father, I pray for peace on earth and goodwill toward all men. In your son Jesus' name, amen. 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 Bow with me as we continue to pray. Lord Jesus, you tell us in your word that blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Today, Lord, we come on the common ground that as a community, our hearts are broken. Lord Jesus, as we have thought about these last few days, we have found ourselves bearing every emotion known to man. And so, God, today we pray that you would help us as you helped the psalmist say that my heart and my flesh may fail, but God is my strength in my heart and my portion forever. God, we need you to be our strength today. We need you to be our portion today. God, we need you to, as the psalmist says, for you to be near to the brokenhearted, to save those who are crushed in spirit, to heal up our broken hearts and to bind our wounds. Lord, today we need you to help us to choose love over hate. We need you to help us to choose hope over despair. God, we need you to bring us together under one banner, God, that we may know that your love is poured out over us. God, may your love pour forth through the prayers of your people. May we experience your presence even more clearly and more in unity now. May we understand that we are to love one another, to care for one another, to lean into one another in a time which has been such a shell-shocking time for our community. Father, we pray for those who are healing emotionally right now, that are broken those who spiritually are seeking for answers that they may find you. Those who are just down, God, that you may see, they may see you when they look up. I pray that you would comfort us as we grieve. We pray for this family as they are grieving a dear loss. Father, we cannot even begin to think or imagine what they have walked through. But Lord, we can do this. We can pray. Amen. We can bow before you and we can pray. We can pray in unity, God, that you would hold them up and you would grant them peace and comfort, Lord, in the darkest of their times. And Father, we take, pray today that you would bind the wounds of this community. And God, that we would see grace and we would see truth in the days ahead. We pray that the Holy Spirit would bound inside of us, God, and that we would choose our words wisely. We pray as a community we would not turn to social media in hate, but we would Amen. be there to show love and unity and support in such a dark time. Unify this community, Lord Jesus. Father, as we heard the lighthouse, Father, we know that you are the lighthouse. 
Father, just like the bridge from Ocean Springs to Biloxi, you are the bridge to life, Lord God. Father, we know that you are our portion, you are our deliverer, and today, God, we pray that this community would experience your deliverance. May your hope abound even greater than ever before. May we choose love today, and may we love one another. It's in Christ's holy and righteous and forgiving name that we pray. Amen. Before we conclude this evening, I asked Chief Miller if he would feel like having a couple of words. He said he would if. So much for us. We witch you, Chief. Thank you. We witch you. Love <laughs> All these gentlemen back here that have, have done so much. And then I look over here at these folks beautiful. who have sacrificed unbelievably. A horrible, horrible thing. But I stand here with a warm heart yes. because I look at all of you gentlemen and these folks and the strength that they have had it's amazing to me I cannot believe that they have held it together the way that they have truly truly remarkable people but that's just an indication of the remarkable community that we live in is this the same with all of you it's been this way for several days now all day long all night long people coming showing their support showing their love for us. And I said this the other day, and I'll say it again. I, I don't know what the problem is in other communities far from here in the bigger cities, but we don't have it here. Amen. You folks are with us, and we're with you. Love all of you. Love 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 you. Thank you so, so much for all that you've done for, for this department, for this city, and this family. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. And the family. Love y'all. Bishop. James Black is now going to come and present these flowers to the family. That is so beautiful. Over a century ago, in Ireland, there was a young man about to be married. And the day before the wedding, he suffered the tragic loss of his fiance. That young man made his way from Ireland to Canada, to the city of Port Hope. And one day there was a rich man who saw this young man named Joe with a saw and a sawhorse. And he said, I think that I will have that man do some work for me because he looks like he knows what to do. And the person that he was speaking to said, no, he won't do any work for you because he's dedicated his life to helping those in need. And Joe thought that he would never, ever find love again. And so in the process, he would pen letters and send them to his mother. Because he didn't have the money to make it back to Ireland. But as fate would have it, 
he found love again. Amen. 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 Right. Amen. And just before he was going to marry his newfound love, she passed from pneumonia. And as Joe's friend looked at the letters that he had sent to his mom, he saw one particular letter. And Joe had written in it a poem, drawing closer to Jesus. And he said, Joe, how did you do this? He said, it was just me and Jesus together. And as time went on, that friend said, I've got to put this poem to music. And that song became what we know today as What a Friend. What a friend. Oh, yeah. We have all my sins and griefs to bear. Oh, what a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. What needless pain we often suffer. All because we do not care everything to the Lord in prayer. In the 40th Psalms, David said, I waited patiently for the Lord. And he heard my cry. And he lifted me up also out of a horrible pit. We're in a pit today. We're down there, but I want you to know that, that, that the Lord hears our cry. I want you to know, yes, we're all crying today. But David said he lifted me up also. Emphasis on the also. David said that, that as he looked around, he saw that the Lord was still with him. Because others were being lifted up out of the pit. And David knew that he knew that he knew. That if he just waited on the Lord. In due time the Lord would lift him up also. Out of the pit. Out of the muck. And out of the miry clay. And set his feet upon a rock. And I just stopped by today to tell you. That rock is Jesus. The only one. That rock is Jesus the son of God. That rock is Jesus, the bright and morning star. That rock is Jesus, the lily of the valley. That rock is Jesus. And right now, we just waiting, Lord, lift us up and place us upon that rock. And we'll just be it safe in the hands of Jesus. We want all of you to stand at a city. All of you to turn to the back of your program. And let's sing this song. What a friend we have in Jesus. Join in with me. What a friend we have in
Mayor Peterson and Chief Pena. If you want to step to the stage and say something. Come on, Chief Pena. Come on, Chief. <laughs> I will just say quickly thank you. Two nights ago we started out here and this was hell. And this was a bad place. And this was a place none of us wanted to be. All those men and women came together and we came to pick up Biloxi. And we only did it with your support and we turned a really bad place and back to a place of God. Amen. Amen. And for that, we appreciate everything y'all are doing for us. All right. Beautiful. I've said for years that the Gulf Coast is different than other communities across the state and, and other states. Uh, it's a community of, of fellowship. It's a community of togetherness and law enforcement stand strong on the coast from bridge to bridge. Uh -huh. We believe that everything we do, we did this week, we did it right. We, did it right. Right. we prayed to God during it. We, we said prayer. Right. Um, we made sure that everything was done the correct way.